Hey guys, today we're going to revisit Vector app. It's web-based vector editing software that you can access on any system straight from your web browser. So, vector.com is the website, as you can see here. You can generate a link to your design. It's easy to share, scalable vectors, of course. And free forever. Okay, let's give it a go. I will create a new file now. And here it is. The vector interface is really simple. This is really simple editor. Nothing to compare with Affinity Designer or Adobe Illustrator. This one is really simple. On the left side, in pages, you can change the size and then you can switch back to layers. Here are our tools. First one, rectangle tool. Let's use it straight away. One more rectangle and we're going to match them together. Hold shift, select them both or just drag your mouse and then unite. Here's our new shape. We can change the color on the right side. Or we can switch off the color and change the border color, the stroke around the shape. We can also change the size of the stroke, just like that. And that's it, we got very limited options here. L really simple program. We can round some corners as well. We got color, border color, shadow and inner shadow, and then opacity, that's it. For the properties of the shape. Okay, so this is our battery-like shape. Let's generate new shape. As you can see, we don't have triangle tool, so I will make triangle from rectangle first. I will draw rectangle, I will double click on it and delete one corner. This way I create triangle. Okay, resize it, change the color. No border, okay. Let's duplicate this shape. Right click and duplicate. Flip it. And then we're going to unite it. So we got little lightning like shape. Here's our battery. I'm going to duplicate this little icon. Delete this one and put some round corner rectangles inside. We can change the color on the right side. As you can see, it's really easy. The workflow in this app is really simple. We got some basic shapes and pen tool. And on the right side, we got some basic properties like color, border, color, shadow, and inner shadow. So everything is straight away here. We don't need to search around in some menus. Everything is in the interface directly because it's very, very simple editor. So it's a good way to like try vector art maybe, get some experience here and then move to more complex software like Affinity Designer or Adobe Illustrator or the new version of Vectornator. Okay, the biggest benefit here is it's totally 100% free, so you don't need to buy it. Then you can run it in any web browser on any system and it's really easy to share. So you may use it if in case you are like me, you are teaching some students to do some vector art. They can just generate links and send it to you. So this is big benefit for educators or trainers. Okay, here is the next copy of my battery. So I'm going to remove one shape here and let's play with this color inside. Instead of solid color, I will use gradient now. We can add gradient. Now we can modify the color of our gradient. Maybe yellow. Okay. Now I need to select it again. 
and click on the gradient on the shape to change the black color now. Okay, we got like a little battery icon in three different stages that need charging. Then we got fully charged and something in the middle with yellow color. Let's fill this lightning with gradient, this time radial gradient. We can also reduce opacity of any shape using this slider on the left side. As you can see, I got some little problem here with this slider. I uncheck it by mistake and it took me a few seconds to realize that. So as you can see, my opacity doesn't change. I was wondering what I'm doing wrong here, but the thing is I uncheck the opacity slider. So I undo my steps using shortcut and then I try it again. And this time it's much better. Okay. And here I got problem again. It's like I dragging the whole UI element instead of slider, as you can see. Yeah, we got some problems here, but finally I was able to resolve that. A few trials, and here it is. Okay, we got opacity slider. So gradients, colors, opacity, strokes. That's it. It's really simple editor. Easy to learn. Perfect for your first steps with vector graphics. So, thank you for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you can hear the difference in audio. I just changed my microphone, so I hope it's much better now. And see you in my next one.